Hello and welcome to the newsroom. These are the latest updates we're tracking at the moment. With just 24 hours to the commencement of the two-day walking strike, warning strike rather, declared by the National Labour Congress, the Trade Union Congress has said its members will not join the industrial action. The Senior Workers Umbrella Organization disclosed it had decided at its National Executive Committee meeting on Sunday in Abuja that it will continue the dialogue with the government to ease the pain of petrol subsidy removal. And President Bola Ahmed Tunibu will on Monday depart Abuja for New Delhi, India to attend the G20 Leaders Summit. The President is attending the two-day summit on the special invitation of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. President Tinubu aims to leverage the platform to attract global capital and promote increased foreign direct investments in key labour-intensive sectors of Nigeria's economy. And the Lagos State Governor Babajide Samuelu has taken the first ride from the Marina Station to Mal 2 as the Lagos Blue Line Rail commence operations. According to the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, Lamata, for the first month, the train would run only 12 trips with the lo locomotive system. And Nigeria's value-added tax, VAT collections continue via upward trajectory in the second quarter of 2023, reaching a total of 781.35 billion naira, according to the latest data by the National Bureau of Statistics. This represents a remarkable 10.11% growth when compared to the pre previous quarter, which recorded 709.59 billion naira in VAT collections. Local payments accounted for the lion's share, amounting to 512.03 billion naira, while foreign VAT payments contributed 142.63 billion naira. On the global scene, General Bryson Guayama, the leader of the coup that ousted Gabon's President Ali Bongo, will address the nation for the first time as interim president on Monday after a swearing-in ceremony that will appear to solidify the junta's grip on power. Nguema, the head of the elite Republican Guard-led officers in a military coup on Wednesday against President Ali Ondiba Bongo, scion of a family that had ruled for more than five decades. In sports, after contractual discussions, the Nigeria Football Federation has announced that an agreement has been reached with Jose Pizarro to continue his role as the head coach of the country's senior men's national team. The Portuguese coach, who earned $70,000 per month, saw his one-year contract expire in June, raising concerns as regards who leads the Eagles when they face out Tome and Principe in their final game of the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers on Sunday, September 10. That's the latest from the newsroom. Join us again in the next hour for more updates. Thank you for watching.